Hey, we are going to do a fall skincare talk. It's going to be an interview with a creator, Renee. She created a Pure and Coco skincare. I am going to see if I can invite her in here. Just hang tight, Pure and Coco. And you can go ahead and follow her when she joins. There she is, hi. Hi, Krista. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna back up a little here so we can see our faces. Yeah, yeah. good idea. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here we go. It yeah, is so absolutely freezing here today. It's been like in the 20s in the morning when we get up. And I'm sure it's probably maybe cold where you are, I don't know, but I'm like, my skin feels so dry every morning when I get up. I can literally feel the moisture sucking out of it during the day when I'm at home in my heat. And um, so there was never a better time to talk about fall skin care than right now when everyone's turning their heat on. It's cr crazy. It like depletes the moisture in the air and it just, it just creates a vicious cycle. So yeah, I totally, I get what you're saying. Your skin feels actually yeah. dry during the day. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's crazy. It's bad. Yeah. Even with doing all the things, I have super dry skin. But we were going to chat today about fall skin care and products and like routines and all the things. So we thought we would go live and just try and reach yeah. as many people as we could because it's so such an important thing to talk about, especially after 40. Um, you know, as our skin is just naturally dehydrating and we're losing collagen and those things. And, um, you know, we're just dry. We're like perpetually dry as we get older. And so, menopause doesn't help either. Yeah. <laughs> hormones changing yeah. and you know, especially this time of year with our diets. And we'll talk about all that stuff, right? We're gonna yeah. Talk about all of that. Yeah. yeah. It all plays a big role in it, whether we realize it or not. So it helps if people are more educated and they yeah. know better, they can do better. Yep, that's yeah. right. Right. Amen to that. All right. So, do you want me to ask you? Yeah, go ahead. Ask me some questions. Okay. And, then, and I was going to say, too, at the end, if anybody has questions yeah. or during, yeah, absolutely. Drop them in. Yeah, or during. Yeah, well, hi, Michelle. We will, um, I'll try and keep an eye on the comments here and we can write them down or we can just make a left turn and answer them. That's totally fine. Let me grab my, my pen here. And um, we have some fun stuff to talk about today. So I think there's, a, you know, a lot to, a lot to learn. So stay tuned. Um, but go ahead. Okay. So my question for you is what got you into skincare? Well, so um, I don't know if you know this, but I've been selling makeup online for almost five years now. And um, what I noticed, is that there's there's a pattern of the same conversation that happens with women because a lot of my clientele our customers are women our age and older and um, I'll, I sell cream makeup and so what happens is a lot of times they're excited because they see me putting the makeup on and then they get their makeup and they're like it's just not blending well on my skin and the first thing I always go to is your skin's probably not hydrated you need more moisture in your skin. It's not the makeup, it's not whatever, it's your skin. And so what I started doing probably, I don't know, a year or so into my kind of selling makeup was promoting skincare first. Like if if your skin isn't really great, your makeup is never going to be. And I find that the longer I go on my kind of healing and healthcare journey, the more I focus on skincare more than makeup. I'd rather have great looking skin than have to go in and cover it up. It's so, a good foundation too. Yeah, absolutely. So I would say if there was like one word like that, that got me into skincare, it would be dryness. And my second word would be wrinkles. <laughs> I just noticed a lot of aging personally going on over the last couple of years. Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed this too. I used to work with, um, before I started doing this skincare, is I worked with uh, an esthetician at a bank of all places. And she used to talk about how dry skin matures and wrinkles more quickly than moisturized skin. So that's why people with oily skin tend to wrinkle less because they have that extra barrier of uh, moisture, whether you like it or yeah. not. So yeah, dryness definitely 
tends yeah, to make the wrinkles yeah, go up faster. Being in this industry, and I think getting older, a couple of things that I've noticed are, like you're saying, I used to clean houses for a living, and so I always deal with women, honestly, the women of the house. And every once in a while, I'd come across a woman who had just incredible, her hands didn't look like mine. They weren't wrinkly and dry. And I'd say, wow, you have such beautiful skin. And she, they would always say, I had acne when I was younger. I've always had very oily skin. You know, it was never the dry people who didn't have wrinkles. Um, so yeah, there's so much truth to that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so next question is what's your skin type slash what's your daily skincare routine for your forties? My skin is so dry and, and people always say it doesn't look that way. Well, that's because I, I really have to take care of it. Mm -hmm. I do really diligent and because I don't like show you the rest of it, you know, this is what I focus on all the time. And because I use such hydrating products and have for five years now, it's really curbed a lot of drying. I've had dry wrinkly skin since I was a kid. People, kids used to make fun of me in school for it. And so I've always had to, uh, I've always been very aware of it, but I've always had to moisturize. And I think that's what's helped a lot, you know, absolutely. So dry, wrinkly, and my routine is I have to cleanse and moisturize twice a day. And not like heavy, I don't mean like heavy cleansers. I mean like I just at least making sure I'm removing my makeup because girls, if you're not removing your makeup, it ages your skin up to seven times faster, especially like sleeping in your makeup. It's insane how fast it ages you. But um, always cleansing and moisturizing. And then like once a week I exfoliate with my Pure and Cocoa 5 in 1 exfoliating moisturizer. I love it because it's the same things I would like go to my kitchen and get. You could like eat the ingredients. So I'm I'm very happy to use that. And it sits on my powder room sink with all of my stuff that I use every day. Um and, and then oils. You know, I used to I just kind of I don't use the same thing every day when it comes to the extra stuff. But literally just making sure I always have a barrier. I'm always hydrated and then cream makeup on top of it. So always keep that moisture in. Yeah, it makes a big difference um, having a consistent routine and figuring out what your skin likes the best and going with that instead of just going with the general like, do this, don't do that, blah, blah, blah. Like yeah. demonizing one specific ingredient because it worked, didn't work for one person, but it might work for somebody else. Like for myself, example, like, I have eczema on the backs of my hands. Um, I used to use straight coconut oil on my skin, but it never, and on my face, but it never absorbed for me. I was like, there's gotta be a better method. Mm -hmm. But sometimes straight coconut oil works great for other people. And I say, awesome, keep doing it. If that works for your skin, then you know, you know what's best for your skin. My, my, I would say always like starting with the basics though, you know, coconut oil, straight sugar, you know, all those things, those amazing like product or ingredients that you use in your products. That's what I always go to. Just start with those instead of diving into like so many different ingredients and so many different products. You know, it's almost like I kind of um, connected back to like healing my body because I do like an elimination diet. You just start with the basics and you just add like one new thing in at a time, just like a baby when you start feeding them new foods, one new thing at a time to see what and if you're going to react to anything. And I think it's the same thing for skincare, the same thing for makeup, you know, especially for us like sensitive girls. Michelle said exfoliating is key for oils to absorb. That's interesting. You know, and I, I think, and maybe you can speak to this, but for me, I can't exfoliate more than like once a week maybe twice a week but i really just stick to like once a week or i find my skin is turning over kind of too quickly and maybe that's just a dry skin thing but do you have any um tips for exfoliating yeah so i'm really big on reading the ingredients i've always been big on reading the ingredients in your skincare just like you do the food hello kellogg's mm -hmm. <laughs> uh it makes a big difference so there's a lot of different exfoliators out there and there are some that you should absolutely only use once a week. Like salt would be horrible for the skin, especially right. if you've got dryness cracking going on, which is what was happening for me. So the nice thing with the sugar for me personally, I have to use it every single day. You really? My okay. skin gets, yeah. My skin gets, like you're saying, it's 
a consistent routine that you have to make it part of your daily skincare routine. Everybody's skin is different. For my skin, that's just what I need. I've been doing it for 10 years. But because it's sugar, it melts really quickly and it's very gentle on the skin um, and it, it, it melts. But also the cool thing is if you look at sugar under a microscope, it's got rounded corners. So there are no corners, but it's just rounded edges versus like salt, it has 90 degree corners. It's gonna tear and cause more harm to the skin. And then also like acid peels and things like that, those are more harsh on the skin. Right you know, and then with downtime and side effects, whereas this uh, removes that dull, dry skin. And when it, somebody else just said earlier, exfoliating is key for the oil to absorb. So it exfoliating makes a big difference. Yeah. It just depends on the so exfoliator ging- that you're using. Ginger just said that it's hard to hear and that you missed, she missed your name. She wants you to introduce yourself. When you, when you move your uh, earbuds, it kind of crackles Sorry. a little. Now it's okay. Right. I just want you to know for your recording. But if you want All right, to- so my name is... Okay, sorry. My name is Renee. Uh, I'm the owner and creator of Pure and Coco, a coconut skincare line. I have dry eczema skin. I started to make it to help with my skin. Um, so that's how I got started with that. And then I sent some to Krista to try out because um, I saw that she has dry skin too. So just to try to help it. spread the word. Yeah, we love it. Um, so I'm really glad to hear you talk about exfoliating and how safe it is with sugar because I need to, I get so like flaky in this area. I will exfoliate more often if it's safe to do so, because my, you know, definitely on the other, other days when I need to do that. So I'm going to try that and I will like come back and tell my people, you know, how it worked for me, because if I can do that, that would be great. Yeah, absolutely. And then just pay attention to how your skin reacts to it. If it's too much, then do like every other, there's a gal I, um, she does every other day because that's what works best mm-hmm. for her skin. Everybody's skin is different. So you just got to pay attention, like how much is enough or not too much. So yeah, yeah definitely pay attention to the ingredients. Yeah. Um, so what product have you used in the past and didn't like or worked as promised? Um, anything that I go to Sephora or Ulta and buy. <laughs> to be totally honest, yeah. like, you know, just things without doing research first, if I go in and I'm like, oh, you know, it says for sensitive skin, it might work for me. And I pick it up and I buy it and I take it home. And I'm, I immediately by the next day, I'm all red. Uh Oh, go ahead, grab it. Okay. <laughs> you okay. I, I have that problem too. I, um, I'm all red. And then I'm like, I really should do my research first to look at in all the ingredients and not just trust what a label says. Um, I think that's one of my biggest problems. So, but I do find that kind of like the lighter, less soapy cleansers work for me. I find that the pure lesser ingredients, like I said, things from my kitchen that I, you know, you would eat, are better for me and my dry skin and my aging skin um, and things made from like herbs and, and whatnot. Just my skin likes that a lot better. Yeah. And that's good that you're, again, that you're paying attention to what your skin likes and you're responding and you've done a little bit of the research. It doesn't have to be like this big overwhelming overhaul of like, you have to try 15 new products to see what works. Like you were saying earlier, elimination makes a big difference. And I think too, going back to basics and as minimally processed as possible is your skin is going to be far better off doing that route than loaded with fillers and additives and not, chemicals. Not just your skin, but I skin. mean, literally like your liver that has to filter all of that, you know, and like the building up of toxins in your body. Like to me, that's really important. And um, something I focus on with skin, any products I put, you know, my hair, my skin, my makeup, my lotions, my, you know, fragrances, anything like that. It all has to be processed. Anything that gets in absorbed into our skin, anything that we can smell, it all has to be processed in our body and builds up. And um, so I try and talk a lot about that online, you know, to like spread that word, you know, just like the science behind it. Cause I'm like a little nerdy science. I love that, those parts of it, you know, but, but it is, it's like, to me, that's the basis of it. That's like the starting point is what's healthy and what's not. And then we go from there. Yeah. It- and you benefit, the cool thing about that route too, is you benefit from it short term and long term. Mm-hmm. So you're not, you don't have to worry down the road, like, what am I doing to my skin long term? Uh, 
quick example. Uh, did you, there was an article years ago about Jackie Kennedy Onassis. They found hair dye in her scalp from all the years of dyeing her hair. It's just crazy what the skin absorbs. And most people probably don't think about your skin absorbing and your body absorbing, but you really do need to be mindful of what you're putting on your skin. Absolutely. Yep. And I mean, just how, I don't know the number, but how many seconds it takes for something to, when you put it on your skin, for it to absorb into your bloodstream. And then that's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's in your body. It's part of your, that it's just wild to me. Yeah. Uh, another good resource for, if you want to nerd out and stuff like that, I, I think I've told you this before, but for your audience also, uh, Dr. Josh Axe, yeah. uh, he's really big into that too. So he's a wealth of information. I always direct people to him for that. Like if they want to find out like internally what's going on and how that affects the skin also. Um, so how often do you use other products, the exfoliator cream, and do you layer them together? So I'm totally a layerer. <laughs> I, I, I love layering. I find it's what gives me the best barrier and like long-term throughout the day outcome. Um, I exfoliate once a week right now. And then I like derma roll once a week. I just have kind of not like a structured, but my, my loose routine, but that's what the things I do every week. Um, I, I do, you know, I'll exfoliate. I layer with my creams. I layer with oils. I love the pure and cocoa together. I will take them in my shower and exfoliate everything, shave, and then like slather myself with my moisturizer. I love it. And, you know, I wanted to tell you this too, is that if you guys, follow me like in my stories I talk a lot about my young son he um, is on the spectrum he has some sensory processing stuff and I he also has food aversion so he doesn't eat like a normal diet I'm very conscious of what I'm putting in his body and on his body and my he and one of my other sons both inherited my wonderful dry skin so during the fall and the winter I lotion him and for my entire life, I used a vino lotion. Hi, friend. Uh, thank you. Um, and I didn't want to use that anymore. I no longer use that, but I was using it on him. And I thought, man, I'd rather you have like dry skin than put that on your body anymore. And then the other day I was like, wait a minute, Renee sent me this stuff. Like I use it on me. Why wouldn't I use it on him? So now when he gets out of the shower and just a little bit because it warms up, and it just really, what's the word, spreads a lot. You know, I can, a little bit goes a long way on his body. And he just, he doesn't need super heavy cream, but he needs a nice little barrier just to moisturize. And then I think someday he's going to thank me for this when he's 85, you know, and he was moisturized his whole life. And that also helps with self-confidence too. Like if you have dryness going on, or like you were saying, you got teased as a kid. Mm -hmm. I guarantee if I was in, I was homeschooled, but I guarantee if I was in public school, when I was having my eczema flare ups, I would have been teased horrifically yeah. because it was so bad. And that just also lends to the confidence factor. So I get, yes, he will definitely thank you someday. Yeah. I, um, my daughter inherited my skin, not to the extreme, thankfully, but it's nice knowing that there's stuff out there that's safe. To, if it's safe for you to use, it's safe for our kiddos to use too. Yeah. Yeah. I got actually come across I have a skin condition called ichthyosis which I know I've shared with you um, but sometimes I say that online and then I have someone message me and be like I have that too yeah. you know I would yeah. imagine it's pretty rare but my mom and my dad both had that gene and I got it you know double whammy so my skin is very dry it's very scaly like even the skin on my shins will crack through the winter and um, so <laughs> moisturizing <laughs> moisturizing is is just imperative because if not not only do i allow like bacteria to get in through my skin but it hurts and it just doesn't feel good and i'm so aware of my skin all the time so you know you had asked me a previous question about what i didn't like about other products that i've used and what i meant to also say was some of them are very greasy Mm. I can't stand the grease. I have used other products and they leave this film. And I'm like, I don't have time for this. Yeah. You know, I, I'm a busy mom. I need to be touching my clothes and making beds and doing all these things. I can't be transferring oil. And that's what I love about the, you know, that your coconut stuff is it 
it doesn't do that. It's lightweight, it absorbs in, it keeps you moisturized, but it doesn't transfer onto anything. Yeah, that's another, that's another nice thing too, is that because a little bit goes a long way, you don't have to, because I see, when I go to markets, I see this constantly and I always have to warn people, like a tiny bit, because we're so used to like creams Love and it. stuff, we're like, yeah. get like half a gallon and then, you know. Yeah. So yeah, it just lends back to the more clean and natural the ingredients, the farther it'll go, the better for your skin. Yeah, um, it just makes, it's a big difference. Um, do you think diet slash lifestyle affects the skin? Or how does 100%. it? 100%. <laughs> yes, 100%. You know, I promote this a lot online. And, you know, again, that's like the, the bare basis. If your body isn't hydrated, like if we're not literally hydrating, and I don't, and just so we all know, just drinking water all day long doesn't hydrate you. You have to have a Thank balance you. of like salt and water. <laughs> Yeah, you have to, you know, we have to hydrate our body because our organs have to be hydrated. Our skin is an organ. And if they're not hydrated, they literally can't function properly. It's like oiling, putting oil in your motor in your car. You know, you have to be hydrated. It, you know, it has to be able to do its job. And not just water and hydrating, but eating any type of, you know, healthy foods and eating fruit because they produce their moisture laden and um a full process full of vitamins too yeah yeah absolutely and you know processed foods and uh alcohol caffeine and i'm not poo-pooing that mm -hmm. stuff like you know we all eat it sometimes but it definitely dehydrates us uh absolutely and um even if i do like my detox bath which is like epsom salt and and ma like magnetic clay and things like that you have to super hydrate over hydrate herbal teas and um all that kind of stuff because salt depletes your body you know like it's just this you have to have this balance mm -hmm. um but a hundred percent i when i went to a whole foods diet my skin was better my hair was better my eyesight got better like everything got better when I was eating healthy and then started supplementing with vitamins and those things. Yeah, it makes a big difference. I personally, I can attest to the improvement in various things. So in the last year, I'll be honest, before a year ago, I was eating terrible, terrible, but I still had a good skincare routine. So I knew that was important. So anyways, I switched up clean whole food diet, like you're saying, like I uh, did all that. My sense of smell came back mm -hmm. of all things. Crazy. I couldn't smell very good before, which is funny because of what I do. Yeah. Uh, so I have a really sensitive sense of smell now, but then my skin improved too, because it's helping nourish the skin from the inside out com combined with the uh, this quality skincare routine also. So I like to tell people, because I've had a few people say, you look really good. I just turned 40. So they're like, you look really good. Like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like nothing's but, wrong. Cause I lost, uh, the nice thing too, for me is I, I lost quite a bit of excess weight too. So that was a nice plus, but I like to say, tell people I Benjamin buttoned myself. If you guys have seen that movie, yeah. um, but it makes a big difference. And so it put less pressure on your skincare products too. I think when we're not like, I wanted to depuff my eyes and make my skin uh, glowing if it's a dull, you know, things like that. So I think it all plays together. Like you were saying it all, it's like that layering effect. Yeah. Absolutely. You add it all together and it works better together instead yeah. of just. And like the inside and the out. Yeah, you, know, you get absolutely. Shannon said she loved going to the Himalayan rock caves. It's essential to hydrate actually before and after. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, salt can deplete you, but as long as you're like, doing all the hydrating things, you know, on top of that, it all is, a, it's just beautiful. I would never have guessed 40, oh, Renee, my girl, Ginger, she's talking you up over there. I have giant sensitive skin. I have excess and love this live. You are so well, welcome. Um, I'm glad this is helping. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I was going to say too, that there are foods that boost collagen because as we get older we lose collagen we lose elasticity we lose that glow hydrating helps with the glow there are you can go and google like foods that boost collagen foods that boost that you know natural glow in your skin there are people and i i don't promote like you know being a vegan or one or the other but there are people who are vegans or vegetarians who say that that like eating raw helps with their skin um so like fruits and veggies absolutely 
you know, to help with that. You have eczema. Oh, you have eczema too. Yeah. yeah. You know, and from as far as I know, in all of my autoimmune research, redness in our skin, and maybe not in particular eczema, but any redness in your skin is inflammation. And inflammation comes from an imbalanced gut. So, and that's why it's really important to eat healthy, drink healthy, you know, and use less toxic products on your skin. Make sure your skin is balanced. It, like Renee was saying, it's all like this balancing act. It all makes a difference inside and out. Yeah. And I, you don't have to overwhelm yourself either. Again, like this can sound like a lot, like just make, take one day at a time and just make a better change, like a change for the better. Yeah whether it's your food or your skincare or whatever, and then just slowly, incrementally, just make it part of your routine. So it's just a daily yep. habit and your skin will benefit from it for sure. Yeah, one of the other girls who sells makeup in my makeup company, she had said something in her stories once and I thought it was just the smartest thing and it's really stuck with me. She said, instead of focusing on what not to eat, she said, just focus on what to eat. She said, just focus on the nourishing foods and then it naturally weeds out or doesn't leave space or time for the unhealthy foods and so i just kind of try and keep that in the back of my mind um and yeah i agree you know i don't i'm not like a seven or eight product kind of girl i'm not a product girl at all so if you see my sink i literally have my cleanser and my moisturizer and my serum and and i i just rotate that kind of stuff you know every day mm -hmm. I, I don't personally think that there's a need for, you know, thousands of dollars worth of products and, you know, 10 products on your sink. I, I have a corrective eye cream that I use, you know, just very basic things. Yeah. yeah. And I think that makes a big difference. It helps your skin to repair itself too. And then also back to the reading the ingredients when you're using 15,000 different products, what's the main ingredient? I bet you most of them is going to be water. So you're yeah. paying for water, even the really expensive creams, like, well, we all know what I'm talking about, like seaweed and stuff like that. Water is the first ingredient, so you're paying for water. So, yeah, it all plays a role. Less is more, especially yeah. in this case. Yeah. The, the, it just makes a big difference. The rest of the skincare that I use is actually waterless skincare. So See, that's awesome. Yeah. I, totally. Yeah. It allows the, the good stuff to absorb. You know, and we're not diluting anything then, and it's just pure ingredients going on, doing their job, and uh, and that's what we want, especially when because quality skincare is going to cost a little bit more, but rightly so. You know, I really believe that you get what you pay for, um, in in any area of life, and that goes for unfortunately to eat healthy, it does cost more money. You know, and uh, so. To add on to that, though, too, I had this conversation with a friend of mine not too long ago about healthy food costs more. But I was like, but on the flip side, if you think about it, the more healthy we eat, the less doctor visits we have, the less prescriptions you're on, et cetera, et cetera. So actually, yes. I mean, you're helping yourself again in the short term and in, in the long term. Yeah. And you most likely will be a much healthier inside and out so that way you can go do things and have more money to spend on the things that you want to spend it on. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I absolutely Thank agree you. with that. Yeah. Um, and then where can we find your skincare favorites for personal and for Christmas uh, gifts? Oh, well, up on the holidays. You crazy. can definitely follow Renee and, you know, check out her YouTube page. And I have her products that I use linked in my Amazon. Um, my Amazon storefront is linked in my profile. You can always find um, any of that there. I have a skincare quiz that you can take. and I. I don't just use one brand so I can help you build out between the pure and cocoa products. And, you know, if you're looking to kind of revamp where your skin is asking you to please help it, um, we can definitely help you do that. And she is just, you have so much knowledge, you know, based on your journey and what you've learned. And, um, and I feel like your husband kind of has had a part in that. I was really excited to hear that, that he was, you know, your encourager and like, Hey, this is, this is really what you should do. So I think that you, you know, go ask her questions, go message her. She's always great. She sends you great. You can hear her voice because she sends voice messages, which I love so much. I'm too late to be. And, uh, <laughs> it takes too 
much time. Yeah. But definitely, definitely go grab the five in one exfoliating moisturizer, which I always say back, backward. It's probably the moisturizing exfoliator. It's okay. And, and then the moisturizing cream. I prefer the citrus. I love the citrus so much. I think it's so kind of invigorating, especially this time of year. It's my favorite. So, and the, what is the other one? Tangerine something? Tangerine and coconut. Yeah, mm. so everything has organic cold pressed virgin coconut oil in it. So long story to say, or yeah, uh, is it still has all the vitamins and the nutrients in it. They didn't strip the like uh, MCT oil is stripped out of the like the fatty acids in it, which is really good for the skin. Yeah. Still has yeah. all that in there. So. Yeah, and so if we can teach you guys something, you know, just to take with you when you you should be looking for a cold pressed um coconut oil you should be looking for a cold pressed mm -hmm. extra virgin olive oil you should be looking yeah. for i think it's cold pressed um castor oil maybe like just hexane free mm -hmm. things um things that come in like dark jars like the, any of those kind of glass. things can really help you a yeah. lot yeah glass more so than plastic if you can like just any of those little changes every little bit really helps it really, yeah it really does it does help it just layering effect <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks, thanks Renee. Awesome. I'm so glad we got to get on here and our friends got to hang out. And so we're going to download this. And so if you guys go and subscribe to her YouTube channel, I will link, um, maybe I'll just link your YouTube channel directly in my stories. So if you guys want to go check that out, follow her. She's going to get this edited down and get it over there. So you guys can go back and watch it again if you want to um and she can refer back to it ask her questions ask me questions we're always happy to help and then sharing is caring so make sure you are gifting skincare to everyone that you love because honestly they will thank you in five years and 10 years and, and 50 years from now men and women and even your children too you know the skincare is safe for kids so starting now is really important in my opinion mm -hmm. or at any age but yeah the sooner the better for sure absolutely yeah absolutely. All right. Well, thanks for chatting and have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.